Researchers found a new kind of particle at the world's biggest accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Why does this matter? Well, most matter is made of quarks, and nobody has seen a particle made of four charm quarks before. A team of scientists made the first ever sighting of an exotic particle by using the Large Hadron Collider at Europe's CERN. According to the study in the Archive preprint server, the particle is made of two charm quarks and two charm antiquarks. Charm is one of the six flavors a quark can have in the standard model of particle physics. The Large Hadron Collider superconductors accelerate protons to crash them together at near light speeds. Writing in a news release, CERN says the team then filtered out ordinary background collisions and looked for bumps or excess collisions, which led to the particle. Quarks are elementary particles that serve as the building blocks of all matter, but most naturally existing matter, such as protons and neutrons, is made of three quarks or fewer. A particle formed by four heavy quarks of the same type has never been seen before. CERN cautions that it is not known if the exotic particle is a pair of charm quarks held together by a weak bond, or a system of four quarks held together by strong bonds known as a true tetraquark. A certain spokesperson says creating exotic particles allows researchers to stress test theories of matter in an extreme case, which will contribute to our understanding of how neutrons and protons work. In terms of colliders, is bigger always better? Apparently, the answer is yes. Stay a while and check out our videos about quarks and colliders. Exactly one year ago, we told you that scientists at CERN had released a conceptual plan for an even bigger particle accelerator called the Future Circular Collider, or FCC. Well, now it seems like the concept will become a reality, and the uses of this new collider have been narrowed down. Here is what you need to know. On June 19th, the CERN Council in Geneva, Switzerland approved the construction of a new 100km circular supercollider called the Future Circular Collider. This new collider is 73 kilometers larger than the Large Hadron Collider. The construction is expected to begin in 2038 and cost at least 21 billion euro. According to Nature, the new collider will be developed in two stages. In the first stage, CERN will create an electron-positron collider with the goal of creating and studying Higgs boson particles. In the second stage, the collider will be turned into a proton-proton smasher with capabilities of reaching collision energies of 100 teraelectron volts. Currently, the Large Hadron Collider can reach 16 teraelectron volts. This collider would be used to look for and study new particles. CERN has emphasized the importance of this new collider, but not everyone in the scientific community is happy about this project being approved. If you ask Sabine Hassenfelder, a physicist and research fellow at the Frankfurt Institute for Advanced Studies in Germany, the world isn't in need of another gigantic particle collider. That was basically the actual title of her op-ed for the Scientific American. One of Hassenfelder's main concerns is cost. She estimates the new collider would potentially cost $1 billion a year. To Hassenfelder, this is too high a price to pay for research that could be done using alternative tools and methods. She also calls out the fact that this collider is being prioritized at a time where the world is falling apart. In her own words, why, for example, do we still not have an International Center for Climate Predictions, which by current estimates would cost only 1 billion US dollars spread over 10 years? That's peanuts compared to what particle physics sucks up, yet vastly more important. Or why, you may have wondered recently, do we not have a center for epidemic modeling? She seems to have a point, don't you think, Tomo Sapiens? According to Ohio State University astrophysicist Paul Sutter on Life Science, physicists are interested in studying the mysterious top quark, and it may have to do with its connection to the God particle. According to CERN, quarks are subatomic particles that are the building blocks of matter. There are six types – up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Up and down quarks, which are the most common and grouped together to form protons and neutrons, the quarks have fractional charges, which add up to become the positive proton and neutral neutron charges. Charm and Strange have a fleeting existence according to Symmetry magazine, as they're unstable particles that easily decay into conventional particles. The six quarks differ in size and weight, both up and down quarks being the lightest, followed by Charm and Strange, and then bottom quarks. Top quarks are the largest, about 100 trillion times heavier than up quarks. This wide range in masses is believed to be due to the Higgs field, 
According to CERN, particles acquire a mass by interacting with this invisible field, whose visible manifestation is the Higgs boson particle. The more a particle interacts, the heavier it is. Experiments at the Large Hadron Collider reveal that the Higgs boson interacts strongly with the top quark. Physicists believe that by studying its coupling with top quarks, more can be learned about the properties of the Higgs boson. It might even lead to the discovery of heavy new physics particles. China wants to make a very powerful scientific gizmo. The Chinese Institute of High Energy Physics is planning to construct a particle accelerator over the next decade. It is to be situated near Qinghuangdao City, east of Beijing. Dubbed the Circular Electron-Positron Collider, the project is expected to be five times more powerful than the Large Hadron Collider in Europe. It will be located in a 100-kilometer underground tunnel. The project will be a double-ring collider with electron and positron beams in separate pipes and will circulate these in opposite directions. If successful, researchers also plan to build a super-proton-proton collider and use it to collide electrons with positrons. Scientists behind the project expect the collider could potentially generate more than a million Higgs particles and others such as W and Z bosons. A prototype is planned before the actual collider is built, and that eight-year mega project is set to begin in 2022. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.